All right, here we are again, live with one of the other uh, royalty of Tiki Art. This man is need, should need no introduction. I may have had a picture of his on my site at one time or another, but you see his stuff, it's amazing. This is the gentleman simply known as Thor. Hi. So, well, thank you. Um, uh, a great introduction. Uh, more than I deserve, probably, but uh, I appreciate it. Well, if you have a chance to go on to his Facebook page, you can actually, it's the coolest thing. He'll sit there and you will actually paint live, yeah. telling people, it's kind of like the guy on PBS, but you do it yep. from a cool tiki perspective. Yeah, the funny thing is, uh, uh, most of you know, I mean, my, back, my background was with Disney. I was an Imagineer for a number of years and worked in the entertainment uh, industry for quite some time. And, and um, many people used to come up and say that weren't artists that drew, that wanted to draw, the accountants, you know, I, I'd love to learn how to draw. Or the marketers. Yeah, or the marketers, or, or yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought, um, what would happen if I tried to teach somebody how to draw who'd never had that experience or opportunity before? So that's what those little YouTube things are called, uh, Thor the Sketching Pirate. And uh, most of the time, it's a good thing that you don't see me other than my face and my pencil, because half the time... I'm sitting in my pajamas or, or something like that. <laughs> okay. I just turn on the uh, thing and start to draw. Just like just like when you're a kid and you're drawing at your <laughs> grandma's house or with your friends. Anyway, my art, uh, I started into Tiki um, about, uh, oh, I probably back in 2005, um, after, shortly after I had left Dis Disney, I started doing my own personal work. I love Tiki. I grew up with... Um, Tiki restaurants, so my mom and parents used to go to Tiki places, and um, what you're looking at right now are black velvets. I'm doing a series of experiments uh, on this sort of uh, fun, very tribal, exotic black velvet work. Um, those are those are yeah. awesome. I, I love those guys. There. Yeah, they're very uh, black velvet is not easy <laughs> to paint on, but uh, it is. Uh, Beautiful when when it is uh, when it once you figure out the techniques. So I'm going to do a series of those, and, and those have been uh, selling extremely well. So now um, was the uh, the the octopus and the ship was that inspired by uh, uh, the Disney uh, the Disney? Uh, uh, a little bit. Right now, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, twenty thousand uh, leagues. Uh, yeah, yep. but not particularly. I, you know, all, uh, the old story of the Leviathan uh, has always been big. Um, and uh, people love skulls and all this uh, kind of taboo, dark exotica in the tiki culture. So that's a skull painted on uh, the black velvet, yeah, as well as a, awesome. uh, another shrunken head. Uh, these are going to different places, a couple of different new establishment bars that are opening up. Um, these now, I've seen some of the, when you have, you have paintings of shrunken heads today. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you actually have shrunken heads that you do as right. art. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming they weren't real people at one time. No. Okay, good. Just, not, just, not, not that, just wanted uh, to verify. I might have to shut down. Not that I will uh, admit to at least. Oh, here, let's turn around this way uh, so we can... <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, you yeah, the it. shrunken heads are probably... A lot of people know about those. Those are um, sculpted, uh, very detailed sculptures that have a multimedia uh, that, that, that I do. Um, and my daughter uh, works with me. We produce the most realistic tribal shrunken heads that oh, you will yeah. find anywhere. <laughs> they so are very people realistic. People who purchase them and own them literally can look, they have their friends look uh, a half at <laughs> it. I, uh, I, I want to have what she's <laughs> having. Um, and, uh, anyway, they're extremely realistic. You'll see them at Tiki Oasis this year. Um, and uh, my daughter has kicked in and, um, and her boyfriend and they helped me with some of the, uh, the ceramics that uh, you see here, all the the skull sipper mugs, where now, you can sip the back and uh, I, I my love skull that zippers. mug. I love that mug. And uh, there they are over there in their natural habitat. The the skull sippers. <laughs> <laughs> That's some of the crew. There we go. And um, now, as I said, this this mug right here. I, yeah, I, I love, love this sipper. one. Yeah, that one's a fun one. You can sip right out the back, and it's kind of a tribute to a tribal shaman drinking vessel and uh, these go down 
quite well when you take a sip out of them. I'll tell you I, that. I would now, yeah. I, as I told you, my dad had a pipe that uh -huh. looked like that oh, way yeah. back in the day, yeah. and that's when I first saw those. That's exactly what it reminded me. And of. that's one of the things that inspired me. Uh, a drinking pipe, you know, uh, it'd be kind of fun. So, um, and this one probably has been one of the uh, uh, look, you got to see the best sellers. This. this is a great. This is a show. tribute to Blackbeard. Uh, it's our, our Blackbeard severed head mug. Let's see if you can see that very. Maybe the light is too bright on that. There we go, right there. Um, and um, it is uh, the last moments uh, when they displayed the head of Blackbeard uh, after he was slain. Uh, and it's sort of a weird tribute mug, but it has been a great seller, and um, it's all hand, each one is hand painted and glazed, and uh, it's really a lot of fun to do. My daughter uh, spends a lot of time on these. And, that, is, uh, that is incredible. So, uh, so this is my fun work, this is my fun art, and then when I'm not doing this, um, I am the creative director at Tiki Farm, which you're familiar with, um, designing and um, sculpting, digitally sculpting, a lot of the new mugs that are coming out uh, at Tiki Farm now. So we, um, we've got some uh, tremendous things happening this year uh, uh, at, at Tiki Farm. So you'll see a lot of those mugs coming out as well okay. uh, for a lot of the newer establishments uh, that are opening up. Uh, and that, you know, that occupies my life pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say so. I would think so. So we'll actually get a chance to come come talk with you down at Tiki Farm. Yeah. In a while here. Yeah, so that we'll, would be great. We'll show you the behind the scenes, how the mugs are made, all that kind of really cool stuff. So thanks. This is amazing. Now, how can people see more of your art? Because obviously well, they're not going to make it today. Right. The best way to find me um, is to either go to uh, Facebook. Uh, if you just go to my name, Tom Thor Darson. Uh, T O M T H O R D A R S O N, and look it up on Facebook. Or uh, I have a website for my artwork called Thor Art T H O R A R T dot com, and there's all my paintings that uh, have been that sold in Hawaii for many years and that are still selling. If you want uh, prints and jaclays of my work, uh, that's the other resource to find me. Um, but again, this uh, event. Uh, uh, here at Don the Beachcomber it happens about every six weeks. I'm, out, I'm here with my daughter and uh, her boyfriend. And also, um, Tiki Oasis is my big time. Oh, so, nice. uh, August. Now, are you also going to be a Tiki Caliente? I won't be a Tiki Caliente. I'll be back here uh, working hard to make shrunken heads for Tiki Oasis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I'll be uh, a boat. So, yeah. I'm looking forward oh, okay. to that. Well, I uh, have a drink for me over there. Yeah. <laughs> and then eat the heat. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. Uh, and that's it. That's All right. That's me. Thanks, man. Thanks I so much. totally appreciate it. And uh, like I said, this guy's art, you got to check it out. It's absolutely amazing. People think Tiki is fun, cool, and frivolous. Well, no, it can be dark, cool, and, and a lot of fun as well. So, that's it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. And uh, I'll be back with more, I'm sure.